咻咻。started senior year of high school my high school played a game called senior tag and I think to my knowledge every high school kind of plays their their version of senior tag and so what senior tag is is basically tag played with guns nerf guns water guns etc um my high school played with nerf guns so when somebody gets shot they get out and then the winner of the two teams moves on to the next round so i graduated with around 450 kids let's say probably 200 kids play they decide to play senior tag and uh so we played teams of six so i don't know you do the math split them up and then you got a big old tournament bracket. And I think each player received about $300 if they won. So in high school, that's some big money. That's a lot of money in high school. So it was super, super competitive. Um, so, but, um, but, but. There was one thing that my high school did differently than other high schools. We had a rule where if one person was butt naked, they were able to shoot anybody they wanted without getting shot. If they got shot, it didn't count. Unless the person who shot them was also butt naked. So, it's pretty crazy. You have a bunch of 17 years, 18 year olds running around butt naked around the neighborhood or in the public. It's pretty dangerous. You could get arrested. So to no surprise, I was not down with the getting naked thing. I was not that dedicated to the game to get arrested uh, for a senior tag and $300. Um, but a couple of my friends were. And so one of my friends was caught. He was running down the street, butt naked, chasing after somebody. And this old woman takes a picture of him, 
butt naked and post it on her Facebook. So, you know, she thinks she's doing something good. Like, oh, all these crazy high school kids running around naked. They need to stop this. Look at what's happening. Well, she got some major backlash. And <laughs> if you if, just take a moment and think about it, she posted a naked 18-year-old man on her Facebook for all her friends and family to see. So everybody was like, get this naked kid off of your Facebook. This is pornographic. This is this is disgusting. You know, she got some major backlash for it, oh, which is super funny because that's not what she expected at all. She's like, she probably expected the neighborhood and the rest of the city to be like, oh, this is gross. Like, oh, um, they shouldn't be doing this at all. It was really her that she, that got the backlash for it. Um, but, 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 anyway, anyway, we started the games. It's round one. Um, it turns out that one of our players was in Colorado for the first week of the games. So he was disqualified anyway. So why we picked him up, I don't know. So we were already uh, down one person, five to six. And so for the first three days, I decided to sleep in my car and um, and get to school that way because my garage was so dirty, I couldn't get my car in there. So what people usually do is they wait, they wait outside people's houses in the morning and shoot them as they're going to the car to go to school. So I sleep in my car. I don't have to worry about it. Well... No one came to my house the first three days. So I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm going to sleep in my bed and I'm going to get a good night's rest. Nope. I wake up in the morning, four dudes standing outside my house. I have no chance. I sprint out the door. Right out of my cul de sac. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running. I run out of my cul de sac. They're chasing after me. I'm too fast. Not really. I just turn around. I shoot one guy in the chest and then they shoot me. So, uh, that was, that was the stand of my senior games. <laughs> it wasn't too exciting. Um, I didn't really get to play too much because I spent a lot of time at baseball. Um, and then I honestly, like when I said the end of the day, after doing homework and stuff, I didn't, I, I don't know, I didn't really want to go out and play. I didn't want to go out and <laughs> risk um chilling uh, so I just I don't know I didn't I didn't do too much I wasn't too dedicated to the game I had fun playing but <laughs> I got out pretty quick um but you know so there's me and that person I think we ended up losing the first round I don't know what happened to the rest of my team um but a couple other my of my baseball friends this is where the story gets good people couple other my of my baseball friends were on their own team and they had it was getting later in the year so they had won a couple rounds and they were I think they were getting to the point where they could win some money and and I wanted a piece of that money and they knew that so they hit me up one day and they said Alex if you do this we'll give you us like a a pension of of the winnings so I said all right what do you want me to do and they said Something that I should have, I should have probably declined and turned away, but I didn't. And I didn't think twice about it, but they asked me to fake ask a girl out to prom. Yes, I, I fake asked a girl out to prom. So I got dressed up. I made my poster. I said, will you go to prom with me? And let me remind you, this is about a month before. So, you see a lot of the prom proposals, or whatever you call them on Twitter and Instagram and whatever, of people asking people out to prom. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I was completely playing this girl. Walk up, walk up to her house, ring the doorbell. Her mom answers the door. I'm like, hey, is so-and-so here? I'm not going to say her name because it's pretty embarrassing. So she comes to the door, 
four of my guys just chilling on the side of the house where they, where it's, she can't see him. Poor, poor so-and-so walks out. Oh, yes, I'd love to go to prom with you. I'd love that. I'm so excited. Pow, 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 pow. got her we're out we get in our car and we leave got the video she's out go me go alex go team right no the next day at school was completely insane Looking back at it, I don't regret it a single bit. It is such a funny story to go back and, and just just think about uh, that I fake asked a girl out to prom. And let me tell you guys, I had not talked to her all year. I was pretty good friends with her junior year. We had a couple classes together, but we, I hadn't talked to her all senior year. So why would she think that I was just going to ask her to prom? That's kind of odd. Um... But that's her fault. <laughs> Am I a terrible person for that? I like to think I'm not. I like to think I'm not that bad of a person. <clears throat> I've changed. I'm a changed man, people. Um, but they ended up not even winning the round, so I pretty much just did it for nothing. got no money out of it but I got a funny story so it was worth it man guys listen people check this check this out check this out I'm about, to, I'm about to turn up the game a little bit for my whispers um but look at this look at this look at this people I got joy
Thank you. 